All right, next up we have Blazing DB. Presenting for Blazing DB are Rodrigo Aramburu, Philippe Aramburu, and William Malpica. Welcome to the stage, guys. Hey, everybody. I'm Rodrigo, CEO and co founder of Blazing DB, a next generation SQL database <laughs> on video graphics cards, or GPUs. So, two years ago, my CTO, Felipe, and I had an analytics and modeling consultancy. And we landed a contract with a $10 billion pension fund. We had to bring together billions of rows of data for a fraud detection model at this institution. And when we were trying to join these huge tables, it was taking our enterprise database server 35 hours to run. My clicker's not working. William, can you drive? And we had to run it again and again and again. So we were banging our heads against the table trying to find a way that we could make this run faster. And we thought, why don't we massively distribute the processing of those joins on video graphics cards? So we did. And that 35 hour monstrosity came down to 30 seconds. That is the power of GPUs. And Blazing DB unlocks that power for enterprises who need massive scale and hyper fast SQL. Or in layman terms, it is a matrix optimized distributed data store on massively parallel vector processing units. <laughs> So, Blazing DB is a server side software. You can deploy it onto the cloud or an appropriately configured on premise rig. We offer a variety of interfaces, and these allow you to connect your code and your workbenches to Blazing DB. We also offer our own Blazing DB workbench, so you can connect remotely and securely to a Blazing DB cluster. Could we go to the demo, please? And now, Blazing DB, our value proposition isn't about the workbench, but our next generation SQL database engine. So, if we want to run a query, it hasn't switched over to the demo? Okay. So, we've loaded up every New York City yellow cab ride since 2009. That's, about, that's over 1.1 billion taxi rides. And if we want to ask something like, how many rides were done in a particular day, we're able to get that back. In less than a second? Or what was the revenue generated that day? Or how about how much taxes were collected every day by the city? This is over a billion rows, and we're asking it in 300, 400 milliseconds. That's insane. But the proof is in the numbers. <laughs> Could we go back to the slides, please? So we ran a series of industry standard benchmark queries, TPCH. We ran them against our database and a series of other te database technologies, such as Amazon's petabyte scale database, Redshift, where we were running five times faster across our different queries. Against Postgres, we're running 80 times faster. Or MySQL, one of the most popular databases in the world, 140 times faster. And these same numbers are showing up again and again with our customers and pilots. But we're. Now, how are we able? To do any of this, it's by leveraging a recent paradigm shift in computing, the use of highly specialized, highly specialized processors such as GPUs. You see, graphics processors were built for huge matrix math calculations. It's the reason they're able to build the world of video games so well, or making a huge splash in artificial intelligence. So, our original insight was to take a table in a database and turn it into a matrix. And now, instead of operating on the four processors in our CPU, we're distributing that processing to 2,000 graphics processing cores. And that is just inside our laptops. Our typical cloud server has 10,000 graphics processing cores that we distribute to. But that's not all. See, Blazing DB, we scale. It is a fully distributed technology that splits the data and the computation across multiple servers. We're maximally efficient. It actually self configures itself based on the hardware in your cluster, the data stored in your database, or the usage patterns of your team. And finally, it's SQL, 
The main reason we did this is to give as much access to big data processing to as many analysts and developers as possible, but it's also because businesses, frankly, live in SQL. Last year, businesses spent around $1.2 billion on NoSQL databases, but $38 billion on SQL databases. And the big data SQL component is growing at double-digit rates. Our technology and vision is inspiring. It's the reason large companies with huge data problems are reaching out to us, and we actually have six BlazingDB cluster pilots underway, three of which are at Fortune 100 companies. And this month, we have launched the first BlazingDB production server for a Customer One model, a workforce analytics company that broke Redshift. And not only are we giving them their queries faster and cheaper, but they're scaling it in ways they never thought possible. But there is something else. BlazingDB was built for the cloud, but it actually works anywhere that has the appropriate specs. So effective immediately, we're launching a community edition version of a GPU SQL database that is free to use for life. So if you've ever wanted to process millions of rows a second on your, on your laptop, please download it, give us punishing, tear-inducing feedback about it, and thank you very much. Nice work. All right, judges, who wants to tackle that one first? I'll, I'll, Brian, I'll kick it off. Um, I think this is way faster than anything we've seen. So I guess Keith talked about switching costs um, for these customers, for the pilot customers that you brought on board, the six. Mm -hmm. So we're handling it in a very concierge manner for bringing data over, facilitating the process right now, just because we are somewhat early stage. But that being said, we're helping companies bring over terabytes of data onto our engine. We utilize a variety of different scripts and tools that actually help bring that data on. Um, and through the interfaces and connectors we made, it's pretty easy to hook up some sort of, you know, Spark, Python, ETL process that can bring over, you know, terabytes of data onto our engine. So just a, just a question based off of that. Are you doing some sort of bake-off against Amazon's solution with, with these clients? And how are, you, how are you kind of giving them the proof, right? Are they taking you on your word that you're faster? Yeah, so almost every time we basically say we can beat their redshift, we get a good old-fashioned BS. Right. And that's actually what we're looking for, because just demonstrating query per query how much faster we're able to run is something that we can set up pretty fast. Um, and we're able to just show them, you know, five times, ten times. For one of our customers, uh, we did 18 times faster, and they had a super optimized version of redshift that they paid a ton of money to optimize, and ours was on the first run. So on one of your slides, you had a picture of the DeepMind team that, that beat Go, mm -hmm. or the, the Go champion. Um, were they using the same process you're talking about? Is that the reason they were on that slide? Yeah, so they do what's called deep learning neural networks. And so these deep learning convolutional neural networks, this is just a machine learning kind yeah. of algorithm. And they're typically built on GPUs. There's, for example, was built on yeah. GPUs. Yeah. So artificial intelligence has been leveraging a lot. Um, bioinformatics genetic analysis actually kind of started and paved the way for a lot of general processing, mm -hmm. is what we call it on GPUs. Um, but SQL database kind of implementations are very rare and very typical. So next question is, what of this have you patented? Uh, we actually have no patents uh, as of right now. There are a few different components that we're considering sending in for provisional patents. Um, because our underlying, we actually built the whole thing from the ground up. Um, so the way it interacts, everything is fairly novel and unique to us. So we're looking at provisional patent kind of strategy around that, but as of right now, we haven't executed on it. There, so little, there's, oh, oh, go ahead, I'm oh, sorry. So sorry. My bad. Um, can you talk a little bit about the go-to-market strategy in mm -hmm. terms of like what are you think the lowest hanging fruit applications that this is going to make the most sense, that it's going to be worth the work for you or for them to do kind of the port? <laughs> And how will that grow over time? How big do you think the market is? Do you want me to take that? Oh. So yeah, we basically help a lot of dashboards. So if a customer comes to us with a multi-terabyte dashboard or a dashboard that has really intense mathematics analytics inside of it, um, like one model, for example, that was the type of situation we supported. So they have really complicated math that's expanding their data set you know, thousands, hundreds of thousands of times. Um, so for that sort of situation, we're huge cost savings, huge performance gains. 
Um, but there's also a bunch of different modeling and tool sets, like the CTO, the CIO, they're, they're staying up at night thinking, you know, the next five, 10 years of data growth, what infrastructure exists? What is that going to look like? And so we're actually seeing Fortune 100 companies that are saying, we want to think forward and figure out this solution or this strategy, and a GPU accelerated database makes a lot of sense for a myriad of reasons. Okay. Got it, one, one last question. Um, related to, I guess, the downsides, right? We talked about the joint and, and a lot of upside there. What are the downside of trade-offs with using this type of solution? So we're not a transactional database, okay. so you want to send over information to us in big chunks, otherwise we slow down, yep. right? If you're sending it a million inserts per second, we are not fast, because that is not our intention to be fast there. Um, we also have not implemented all the SQL standard, right? We are not SQL complete. Um, Redshift has, uh, we do not have windowed, sorry, windowed functions, okay. and we don't have stored procedures. Most other SQL we, we do handle. Mm -hmm. Got it. Any Not final yet. questions, or are we good? Yeah, I was just going to follow up with an okay. with a IP question. Uh, so have you guys done a freedom to operate? Because it sounds like the generalized idea of using a GPU to accelerate the, uh, the SQL search uh, is, is known. Um, so have you looked into seeing if this has been patented before? I'm sorry, I didn't get Have you looked into seeing if this has been patented already, this approach? If it's a patentable technology? If it has been. If it's been patented by somebody oh, else. If, um, as of right now, we're not familiar with any GPU accelerated SQL data store patents, but the manner in which we implement everything is really <laughs> quite unique, so I don't even see how necessarily they would interfere with one another because sure. most people are kind of implementing different SQL database technologies, open source technologies, and retrofitting them from GPUs. We thought that that's never going to work if you're talking about how to make the data run on the GPU appropriately. So we started it all from scratch. Um, so we're not particularly worried with patent infringement as of right now. Awesome. Cool. Uh, I think we're out of time. So thank you very much. Blazing TV. Yeah.